Hi, this video essay is going to be about about artificial intelligence and its potential effect upon the Afro-American community. We need to start out first making sure that we both agree on what is the definition of artificial intelligence and make sure we don't confuse that with something called automation. Essentially, you can have automation without artificial intelligence and essentially you can have artificial intelligence without automation, but that typically doesn't happen. So let's start off with what is automation? Automation is the use of, use of technology to perform menial and minimal tasks like on factory floors, robotics, the assembly lines, traffic lights are typically automated, they're not, it's not AI, garage door openers, uh, 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 data entry devices, claims processing, and kiosks, those things are automation. And the jobs that really are in jeopardy from automation are something we've dealt with in the past, these jobs are, I should, I, should say, I should actually say, these jobs are jobs that in automation that are, that are typically safe. And these are jobs of what, what people do in automation. Typically are barbers, they could be food, food service people, construction people, cleaning people, drivers, or power manufacturers can be affected by automation, general manufacturing, personal assistants, personal trainers, customer service people and teachers. These are all types of jobs that are we fall under um, automation and perhaps would be in jeopardy by automation. Throughout history, automations occurred Think of from going from horses to automobiles. From the world, um, uh, in, in, in London at one time, in the 19th century, there was uh, a, 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 a Luddite, uh, there were people who worked in mills that tore down the mills because they saw that as being a threat to their jobs, as being people who didn't mill with their hands. So, for now, let's take for a minute, what is AI, since you know what automation is? AI is, is having a machine do an intelligent act. There's a couple of ways AI works. There's AI, there's artificial general intelligence, which is the ability for a machine to do a human task. There's machine learning, which is the ability for a machine to do tasks that have been predefined and learn on that task and only on that task more and more. There's deep learning, which is more in the nano world where a machine using machine learning can go off and, and um, learn on its own. And then there's finally singularity where a machine can exceed, exceed human thought. The, what we're dealing with right now is with language models um, and what, what they are are basically things that take input uh, that, that can look at an image and tell you what that is, that you can, you can ask for a definition, it'll come back and give you the text on it or write a story for you. Language models, that's where they work and they would be something like Copilot or ChatGTP. Now, um, if you are in if you are in the AI world, and to make it sure you understand the difference between AI and automation, is AI would be like if you're in a car and you're using climate control. Automation would be like if you're in a car and it's just blasting heat out. AI has the intelligence to reduce the change the climate in the car. Now, now, in the AI area, the jobs that are affected are a little bit different. They are different types of jobs such as budget analysts, data entry people, financial planners, 
sales managers, real estate, lawyers, programmers, customer service, tax preparation. These are the kind of jobs that AI affects. And um, they typically don't affect jobs that like laborers or plumbers, or electricians, as you talk about barbers and, and, and nursing people, people who have personal contact with people, firefighters and things like that. Those type of jobs AI shouldn't really have any effect upon. Let's talk about the demographics. Now we're getting to the meat of things. In the workforce, 28% of black of African American people work in the healthcare industry. 10% work in retail and hospitality. And about 18 to 20% work in some form of government. Okay? 53, there's a very, there's an extremely high level of, of black Afro-American people that work in the clerical field. Those type of jobs, along with the education I'm going to get to you, are not really affected by AI. Those jobs are more affected by automation. Let me give you some demographics of education. 88% of blacks have high school graduates. 22.6% have BAs. And 35% have associate's degrees. The common white population, 97% have high school. 60% have BAs, and 51% have associate degrees. Six out of every 10 Americans feel they're going to be affected by AI. But the reality is the people who have the higher, achieve the higher education are more likely to be affected by AI than people who are on the low end of, of the educational um end of things. As far as fear of job loss, 19% 19% of all workers feel that AI may be a threat to their job. 20% of them of the white people feel that AI is going to be a threat to their jobs. 15% of black people feel that. As far as people who have less than a high school diploma, 3% will will probably only be affected by AI. 12% will probably not be affected by AI. 19% will probably not be affected by AI. And 27% of BA people um, will, will not be affected by, by, by AI. By AI. Um, so in, to give you a flavor, AI is going to be the type of thing that's going to uh, have a larger impact on people who are or, or not not have as large impact on blacks and Hispanics as you may think it will. It's probably going to be a chance for a reset, for an opportunity because of the confusion for blacks and to make upward gains because of the fact that AI will give them or give them opportunity that may not exist before. I'd like to thank you for your time. Please give me a thumbs up and have a great day.